Joe Turner from Leapfrog Fight TV, and I am here at Team Underground MMA in London with David Cook. Right, right. The main man, you are smashing it at the moment, my friend. Yeah, smashing right. it. How's life? It's good, you know. Um, obviously, had my first pro fight in November. It was good. Quick, good, but um, then went Thailand, so life's pretty good. Training hard. I get to train every day. This is my job, so I can't complain, really, can I? What's it, what's it like living the dream, your dream, as an MMA fighter? Hard. It's um, I love it. I love doing it. But like when you're in them sessions, the sessions we do, it's it's a graft. It's hard. So it's like, you know, everyone compares it. You know, I only do, I only train three, four hours a day for that period. But I can I can compare that to a nine to five. It's like I'm getting dragged down. We're working hard. So it's fun. Like, but like hard. yeah, like you were just saying off the camera, getting dragged down constantly over and over. There's no cardio like it. No, I I will stand by that. Um. Uh, wall wrestling against a wall is the hardest cardio you will ever do. Um, compared to Muay Thai running, whatever you do, when someone's on top of you, just dragging you constantly down, putting all their weight on you, and you're getting punched and elbowed and kneed, and you can't breathe. That's the hardest cardio there is. So, but it's good to got to work at it. So obviously, when we first met each other, long time ago, you were doing something very, very different. Very different. Fill me in. So uh, I know. Yeah, when we uh, first met, I was. On the Muay Thai scene, doing Muay Thai, obviously with uh, Big John and that. But um, as we, uh, as I got up, I went to K1. I'm more, I've always been a K1, but I've always tried to trade, trade, trade. And um, I've done well. K1, I went, I think, 12 and 1. And then um, I've always wanted to be amazing. I started in Jiu Jitsu. Before I even did Muay Thai, I started in Jiu Jitsu. And then after, when I got 16, I was like, come and do some grappling, get your grappling back up. So I hadn't done it for a while. So I was like, cool, and then we started grappling. At 16, had my first MMA fight, and then since then, we've just gone from MMA. I had like a one, one or two boxing fights in between, just keep it striking. But um, yeah, getting on the MMA, I've always loved MMA. I love watching it, I find it so entertaining. And um, yeah, that's how it's gone. So what was almost the, the final push into jumping into MMA? Was it uh, you found your love again for grappling? or I think the final push for me was just, oh, I've always wanted to do it, but... My dad being the head coach and just teaching me, and it felt meant a lot for me to just go with MMA and have him in my corner and just know that wherever what he's always been in my corner, even in Muay Thai. But MMA, he's my main coach. He's like everything I do, it goes through him. And I don't know, it's just our connection me and my dad have got that I always loved MMA, so it's good. What's the difference between training for a stand-up fight in K1 and getting ready for an MMA fight? There's a lot of obvious differences. Obvious, yeah, but, but um, just kind of. List it out for me. The main difference I would say is MMA is harder because I feel like there's obviously there's more to it, right? And sometimes you just got to constantly. So that's probably why I prefer MMA. There's more enjoyment because every day I'm doing something different. I'm working a different aspect of MMA. Obviously in K1 you can always work different things, but most of the time you're gonna hit pads, do some drills or spar. You know, it's kind of the work on a left kick maybe or yeah. something like that whereas MMA I've got to work on my takedown my sprawl my everything so the main difference is the hard the hardness of it I guess like the hardness of MMA is just a lot harder the training if that makes sense like you can, I can go and hit pads 10 rounds but then like I said before having someone doing a shot tank with someone constantly wrestling you striking you it's just level like it's, it's hard to explain but when you're in there you know and the, the sport in general all right. Obviously, we've got different rule set. You've got things you can do and can't do yeah. compared to K1. Yeah, yeah. When I say the sport in general, I mean promotion-wise. Oh, okay. Do you notice a big difference in Muay Thai and K1 and MMA in terms of just how the shows are run, how the, how, how the fighters are built up? Big difference, I would say. I'm not uh, digging out of that. I actually always preferred Muay Thai and K1 like fan bases. If that makes sense, you know, like they're always a bit more respectful, everyone likes each other. As MMA, everyone seems to not like each other and it's a bit more hostile. That's interesting. Yeah, it's a bit, I don't know why. Maybe it's just the MMA's got a bit more of a bigger ego thing, you know, like you see the big fighters, like obviously they're quite true for a lot of shit. Da, 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 whereas okay. one time they're always respectful. So I think that's a big difference. And promotion wise, I think MMA's got a lot more bigger promotions, you know, there's the big ones, got one, UFC, Bellator, yeah. BFL, whereas I think Muay Thai K1. You know, you've got your glory, you've got the one, but it's not really as thingy. Yeah. So um, I think it's easier to get recognised in K1 because the organisation, there's not as many. Saying, um, but 
and then there you've got more routes you know to make any big money yeah. and there's a lot more people i'd say starting mma trying to make yeah. it in mma because mma there's already that if you get to the top there's money whereas yeah. in muay thai yeah there is now obviously haggart he's proven that yeah. like it, he's, he's winning his titles stuff like that and it, it, it's been proven now that as a uk fighter you can reach to the top but yeah. compared to the numbers wise yes people have made it but a lot more MMA um, fighters have made a bit more money. Yeah. It's easier to make a living for MMA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get you with that. So let's talk about your goals. Yep. You're in MMA. You are yep, killing yes. it. Absolutely killing it. Especially with your striking background as well. Very few people can stand there and strike yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah. But you're also very good on the ground. You're very, very good on the ground. Yeah, yeah, your dad's yeah. the JITS coach, wrestling coach. So goals. Within the next year, where am I going to see you? Oh, hopefully. Big, big organisation. Um, bit more money in my pocket hopefully um but yeah i'll just you know like uh i'm just chasing i've got stuff to pay for stuff to look at. i want to like, look after my dad and my mum so i'm chasing the dream of just getting that money and provide for them you know my dad and my mum give me everything like they pay for my training since i was young so that's my goal is to just make sure by next year we're in a big organization chase even chasing the world title if we can um i think i've got the ability to but main focus is just giving them a, a good life and you know, get my dad a nice bigger gym, for example, or something like that. You know, like so that's what we're going for. I've got my girlfriend, we've got we got things to deal with and that. So, you know, we're we're looking for a big a big contract. So hopefully that's coming soon. And um, next year, I would like to say we're on the verge of maybe if we're in, for example, if we're in one, in the verge of looking for a title shot. You know, I'd love to follow Jonathan and uh, be a two weight champion in one as well. It's two sports. So. You know, it's achievable, man. You you can stand and bang. You can you can also wrestle. You can wrestle. You you're good on the ground. It kind of leads me to the next one. I wanted to kind of talk to you about. Yes, you 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 spent the majority of your childhood stroke team in K one. Yep. What would you say your strengths are now? What would make you achieve that dream? If you got in the ring with anyone, you'd think right. These these are my strengths going into this fight so far. Uh, I don't know that. Like, um, one of my biggest strengths, I think most people agree with me, it's just my will to win. Like, um, I, I won't stop fighting, like, like I've said before, uh, interviews before, and that uh, I will stand there until the final belt we can fight. Three rounds, five rounds, Even, no matter how exhausted I am, my will to win carries me through a lot. With the, and I think, like you said, with the K1 aspect I've got, I'm ready to trade, but I can wrestle. So my strengths is, I like to say my, one of my biggest strengths is trying to all round my game. You know, I, I like to be strong. I can wrestle. I like to hold people down and beat them up. Or I can stand in front of you. We can trade for trade like a K1 fighter. So, but yeah, my biggest strength is the will to win. I was really excited when coming down here to interview you because you're one of those fighters. I already knew you. I already know you can stand and bang. Yeah. But I also know that you've got the wrestling to back it up. And it's just exciting to watch you fight. And yeah, it's yeah. almost exciting to be almost hear you talking about these dreams of the yeah, future, yeah, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. So just, just in general, What's it like, the vibe around Team team Underground at the moment? The vibe in Team Underground at the moment is hard-working people. But everyone wants to work hard and achieve something for everyone. There's no um, egos, no dickheads. If, uh, you know what I mean? Like, mm. no one's arrogant towards anyone. Like, we'll have hard rounds, for example. You all, seem, you all seem really close. Yeah, like, I'll have a hard round. I'll get suplexed by Swear's and then he'll go, oh, brother, how are you? <laughs> like, um, you know, even Tom Sport will be able to trade there. There will be a bit of blood, it will be hard. And then after we chat, I said, what could I do better, you know? And even that goes from, not even just myself sparring, it goes to the uh, the other people like Sinead. I think Sinead and Chloe beat, beat the living hell out of each other and then to have a coffee after and it's all good, you know? <laughs> so that's one thing that I think draws a lot of people in is we all care about each other. Everyone cares about everyone's safety. We go hard to a degree of we're not doing that silly to injure you. You won't get your knees hurt. You're just, it's hard round, but, you know? After always make sure you're right, and um, I think it's a big family environment. You know, everyone says that. Everyone, every gym is gonna say it's a big family environment, but I truly believe down here we are a big family environment. What's it like being coached by your dad? Do you feel it adds a lot more pressure to you? It's quite a personal question. It's a, that's a big question because a lot of people see it in different lights. You know, people see, oh, you get away with stuff because your dad. You don't feel bad. Um, if everyone that knows. He, he, every minute he's watching me, he's making sure that I'm putting in 110. percent If I'm not 110, percent I'm getting told you better put 110 percent in. So, 
How about that as a coach? It's hard, you know. Some people can relate. Like obviously, Fred can relate to having his dad as his head coach. Um, they push you to the limit until you feel like you've got nothing left. So it's um, it's a lot harder. But I wouldn't change it for the world, you know. I'm a, I'm really as good because of how hard I've been pushed, you know. So I'm I'm as good as I am. I can scrap like I am and excited as I am because he's made me like that. That makes sense. Of course, man. Of course. So, yeah. I'm really looking forward to the future, my man. So, um, uh, there, there's a bright, bright future ahead. And yeah, I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing you smash it, man. 100%. I really thank you for your time. I know you just had a hard session. Yeah. So, uh, thank you for stringing a few sentences no, together for me. Thank you, brother. And, uh, mate, a pleasure. Good to see I'll you. I'll be yeah. down soon. Yeah.